Hey guys and welcome to another FIFA 22 uh, player review and today guys we're we'll doing the 86 rated milestones league at foundations Uribe from Porto uh, who looks absolutely fantastic every single base stat uh, at at least 80 plus or better which is fantastic I went and put the Maestro Kemsel on them I took him into some division rival games three games zero goals and two assists this is a card that I think is easier Maybe it has the exact same requirements um, as the one for Macintosh, but I feel like it was just so much more easier. Maybe it was because the the, the Liga Portugal team I had was better than the Adivis team that I had to be able to try and go and unlock the card. But he is fantastic. And do you know what? He's like the free rude hullet in this game. Like literally, you know, it doesn't require too much to be able to do him at all. You know, you're playing it online, so obviously you're working towards doing other stuff for live foot friendlies to work in, you know, working towards unlocking packs and stuff like that. So it's just a win all rounds to be able to go and get this card. And he's really, really good to be able to use in game. Uh, you know, having that, um, you know, Maestro Camera style makes his shooting really good, makes his passing even better, makes, it makes his jumping absolutely insane, in my opinion. Um, he's just a really, really good box to box midfielder. You know, we have to talk about his passing. He got me two assists in the three matches. Which was obviously very good, you know, having that Maestro Camera style to him, takes his overall passing up to 86, takes his vision to 89, short passing to 92, long passing to 94, even bumps his free kicks as well up to where uh, to 79. Crossing and Kev do lack a little bit, but realistically, as a central base player, you're not going to use them at wide. They don't really matter. As long as his vision, short passing, long passing are good, and they are very good with the right chem style, then that is fine. Uh, and his range of passing, certainly as a centre midfielder, is extremely good. Uh, you know, his dribbling was also really nice. Uh, as far as the centre midfielder goes, you know, uh, agility and balance for this particular uh, for this card in particular, very, very good. And uh, very nice ball control, reactions, dribbling, composure. His pace for a centre midfielder is very, very good. You know, a lot of centre midfielders tend to kind of feel slow. He doesn't. He's actually very, very quick for a centre midfielder. So I, put, I thought I will put down his uh, his pace as a positive to him. Physicality, defensive stats, shooting as well are also pretty nice. But I thought for me, in my opinion, the pace, dribbling, and passing with the main standard areas to him do I recommend you guys going for him absolutely think he makes a fantastic you know super sub as well really really good very very 100% worth doing but anyway guys that'll finish off this video thank you very much for watching and I'll see you guys later